the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the first and second inaugural addresses of Thomas Jefferson are my four favorite documents. And Emancipation Proclamation, subsequent and followed by, following that, Gettysburg Address, which was essentially a restatement of the Constitution and the Declaration. But coming into this century and broadening it, I would just give you one that you, you're going to find surprising. And that was the Helsinki Final Act, 1975, which was the Declaration of the Rights of Man. And it was as a result of one of these international negotiations. And President Ford, in one of the more historic acts of the century, but one of the more underappreciated acts of the second century, going against domestic political opposition, uh, signed the Helsinki Final Act, which essentially said there are universal rights of men and women. And in order to get the Soviets to also sign that, we had to make some accommodations with respect to we shouldn't change borders. Some people said, aha, you're validating Soviet occupation of the Eastern European countries. Well, they, they were there. and We didn't validate them. We still argued against it. But I believe that getting the Soviets to agree to that was a poison pill that they took that helped bring about the end of the Cold War and the demise of this evil empire. Acknowledging that men and women, no matter where they are, no matter what government they are under, have certain universal rights. 